you all knew this was coming. Ray Fisher released what he believes uh, is the sort of the stinger. It's the thing which perpetuates himself into, mm, yeah. Um, this is this is apparently him saying, I'm all for it, I'm epic, I'm good, listen to me some more. Um, but I also want, to, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll look at this, FYI, we will look at this, um, and we will look at the responses, because a lot of people are now turning against him. And I also just want to throw this out there um, as well. He has absolutely uh, no integrity anymore. He has no integrity at all. Um, and the reason why I say that uh, is because, ladies and gents, Oh, sorry, what's this? Ray Fisher would return to Justice League movie if Zack Snyder directs the sequel. Sorry, mate. I thought you publicly stated you would never work with DC and Warner Media ever again when Walter Hamada is in charge. But you don't mind? If what? Sorry. This was all about money. This was all about exposure. Sorry, you cannot say something so publicly, ladies and gents that he would never work with DC ever again and he doesn't care about his career and blah, blah, blah. And then double back on it. You can't. This was all about money in the end. This is all about him just trying to raise his profile or some crap like that. I don't know. I don't know what the end game was, but yeah, I'm not buying it. I definitely pick up the phone. There's no way I wouldn't pick up the phone. That's crazy. Even if he just called me to say, what's up? That phone is getting picked up. He could be like, yo, I'm going to do a Dawn of the Dead 2 and we want you to play a zombie. I'd be like, just put me in, put me way in the back. I'm fine with that. Um, you know, and then, he, and then he goes on to say this. I've received official confirmation that Warner Brothers Pictures has decided to remove me from the cast of The Flash. Yeah, again, remember, because you had already said you weren't going to work with Walter Hamada ever again. They renewed his contract, so... If you're a man of integrity, you, of course you're never going to work with them again. Um, you know. And then he says, look. Blah, blah, blah. Etc, etc. Misinformation. Just League investigation. So all this statement, normal crap that he'd already done. Um, but yeah. Apparently he would definitely work with Zack Snyder again. Apparently. Not exactly a man of uh, utmost integrity, is it? Not really. Not really a man of integrity, ladies and gents. Uh, and this is the uh, this is the clip that we're going to listen to. Um, now, I, I want to just throw this out there that he's doing this because he's desperate. Uh, he's absolutely doing this because he's desperate. Um, and again, people are really smart. People are cutting on to it. Waiting for a mention of Walter Hamada specifically in this recorded call, which... By the way, do they know they were recorded? Because this is super vague and still doesn't address what specifically happened. Again, this is what I've been saying from... The thing is, because a lot of people, right, will jump on this video, and they have done already, and they've gone, it's because, you, it's because you're racist, right? No, completely incorrect, and also shows that you're a moron. I reviewed Synchronic the other day as the best movie I'd seen for the past two, three years. Right, mm, led by, funnily enough, a black guy. I, I strongly believe John Boyega was right in what he said about Disney and Star Wars. Why? Because he presented evidence and facts. That's all I'm asking for. I'm happy to believe Ray, but this is nothing. And anyone with half a brain cell is well aware of that. This is all nothing. He's never said anything. And people are starting to wise up to it. We'll listen to it in a second, but I just want you to read the replies. Uh, there's no verifiable way to prove this audio was actually Warner Media. Yep. Um, just a lot of talk with still no actual facts. This clip is basically them saying they thought he was punctual. I'm getting so tired of all these articles. Ray is never saying anything with any meat. Very annoying. Yes. And this is the interesting thing. People say, well, so why hasn't anyone sued him? Because he's never said anything. He's never actually made any claims. If he said, Jeff Johns called me a, you know, an N-word then yeah, maybe someone would sue him. But he's never said anything. Funny that, isn't it? Which is literally what I've been saying this whole time. That's why no one can sue him. Because he's never made any actual statements. They're all vague. Ah, oh, people are, are abusive. Okay, so what then? <sighs> Fucking tumbleweed. This whole time, it's all bollocks. And then people are wising up to it, and I'm so glad they are. 
Basically, it's a thank you for cooperation with investigators. The credible part is in reference to him not dicking the investigators around by being cooperative with them. At no point was it declared that Ray was correct in all his allegations. Yeah, exactly. So th this is just nonsense. <laughs> Absolutely nonsense. The idea is everyone was trashing him for being vague. This shows that he's given everything to them as she confirms. A personally selected clip is still vague information. Yeah, there's no context here, guys. At all. And people are just like, oh, time and time again. Yeah. And then again, so he said himself he wasn't going to participate in the investigation unless he got his way. So, lol. I don't know why others saying it now are a problem. Ridiculous. This is utter, utter nonsense. Again, except video evidence would be evidence as opposed to relatively vague conjecture. Unreal. Unreal. Pe people are very much starting to realise that this guy is full of shite. Absolute full of shite. Anyway, let's listen to it. And again, you, you can think for yourself, guys, but it's so vague. I just want him to actually come out and say what happened. That's all I've asked from the start. But he's never said anything. And he won't ever say actually what happened. I don't take someone saying that someone was racist as anything anymore. Because I actually want to hear what they actually said. Because the problem is, guys is that in this ever-changing world of definitions and things like that, what someone thinks is racist versus what someone else thinks is racist, and what the actual definition is of racism. There are, there are, there are some epic goalposts there. So anyway, let's listen to this. I know that this is a very time-consuming process, and uh, I know this has not been an easy one by any means. Um, and... If ever there were any points in time where I seemed defensive or, or uh, you know, please. Ray, you've been I, a gentleman. You've been a gentleman, and I'll say you've been a man of your word. And that is what we have reported to the company, which is that you told us you would give us names. You gave us names. You told us you would meet with us on a particular day at a particular time. You never tried to reschedule it. You met us. You even gave us information after that. You've been a man of your word. You... Uh, are someone that we have found extremely credible. And the fact that you risked so much is part of what lends itself to your credibility. Um, and But just also, um, you know, the facts speak for themselves. Again, just thanking him for being punctual. Yeah, you turned up when you said you were going to. You gave us some more information. You, you, you gave us what you said you were gonna give us. That's not saying, yes, this is true. Yes, this is that. Yes, this was what has happened. There's there's still no information here. This is what is really important. And you can't just... Like, I just... There's nothing here. I, honestly. There's there's nothing here. And I am, I am genuinely baffled why anyone thinks that this is anything of substance. Because it's not. And I think that this is... This is honestly him lashing out now because they realise that he's um, people are starting to cotton on to the fact that he's never said anything because he hasn't don't support cancel culture right, I don't support cancel culture I want to know what has happened right, John Boyega came out and said very, well basically said what we all know, right Disney were editing them out of um, certain clips and posters and, you know, removing Kelly Marie Tran and removing John Boyega from, like, China and things like this, right? They were being racist. That's, like, that's worth a discussion. It's, hey, here's my accusation, here's the evidence, here's the account. Ray's like... Well, I don't know, he's never said anything. Oh, my God. And again, more people. This literally explains nothing, Ray. Yep. <sighs> 
and now he's like, oh yeah, but I would work with Zack Snyder again if he was going to direct Justice League. It's like, then you've got no integrity, then do you? Where's your backbone? You said you would never work with Walter Hamada, but you're going to happily work with him if, if Zack Snyder's back. You've got no integrity, Ray. You're not. Like, they're like, yeah, he's, he's a credible man. Again, where are all the, where's the proof people at? Well, this is not proof. This is the thing, like, but again, people are like, so DC found JP, right? They won't be happy until they hear details of every single abusive behavior. But we've not heard any details. Saying something is abusive is subjective, right? It's not an objective fact. There's nothing demonstrably abusive about just saying someone's abusive. In this world of snowflakes and pags, you need actual accounts, actual details, actual tangible things to say. Because I'm happy, I don't want to side with a corporation. I don't want to side with Warner Brothers. I'll happily side with you, Ray, if you actually said what people did. You know? And again, remember, ladies and gents, we live in a world where a white man is racist just for critiquing a black guy in this day and age. Let that settle in. Right? Let that settle in. Because that's what some people actually think. And that's nonsense. That's pathetic. And if that's what people did, then, well, no wonder you're not sharing anything, Ray. Because you get laughed at, mate. And remember as well, if this was really as big and bad as uh, people keep saying it is, he would have sued Warner Brothers. He's got all this evidence, hasn't he? Right? Why didn't he take them to court? It swings both ways. People are like, well, why aren't anyone suing him? Why hasn't he sued Warner Brothers? You know, a break of contract. <laughs> Abusive conduct. Employment laws. Tribunals. Like, where he hasn't done anything either, has he? Swings both ways. He can't make actual accusations. That's why no one sued him. Because he's never made any. And he's never sued anyone because it would stand up in court anyway. He was thanked by some investigators, which Warner Brothers were very, very nice to actually do, because they didn't have to. They did it, basically, just to shut him up. Anyway, this is nonsense, and people people keep sharing it with me on, on some of my videos. They're like, oh, probably should update this. I'm like, no. He's still not done anything. He's still not revealed anything. If you think this reveals something, you think that you were on board anyway. I just want some details. Cheers. Cheers.